Malcolm in the Middle wears a hair system? Life is unfair. Yes guys, welcome to the channel. I'm your host Adam, your friendly hair system expert. Today we're going to be talking about a rather famous person who has a hair system. Now, Malcolm in the Middle was one of my favourite programmes as a kid growing up. I get home about 4.30, put, put on Nickelodeon and watch Malcolm in the Middle, back to back episode for an hour. I'm sure a lot of you watching these videos who are a similar age to me probably the age bracket 30 to up to 45, used to do exactly the same. What a show. What a show. Well, Frankie Moon is, who was the main character in the program. I hadn't really seen much of him since Malcolm in the Middle ended. I'd actually forgotten that he existed. But thanks to a content creator, big shout out to Toupe Queen, big on TikTok and YouTube, uh, she did a video on Malcolm in the Middle getting a hair system. So I thought I'd do a bit of digging and find out what exactly is going on with this guy. So a, a couple of pictures are going to pop up on the screen right now are of Malcolm. I keep calling him Malcolm. He's called Frankie. I'm disrespecting the guy. Frankie Moon is up on the screen right now, a picture of him when he was in Malcolm in the Middle. And then after that, he kind of started losing his hair. Uh, I was watching a video the other day that where he says, I, I started losing my hair when I was like 19 years old. And my wife actually pointed me in the direction of Hair Club. Now, this certainly isn't a video as a prop for Hair Club because I think it's far too expensive for what you get. You can get it a lot cheaper following my advice. But I'm just giving you some information on the route that Frankie took and the transformation that he has had. And now I'm going to put up a picture of him wearing a hair system. Now... If you know what a hair system looks like, you can kind of tell that it is a hair system. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad hair system. I think it's it's absolutely fine. But there's certain indicators, uh, especially with the sort of hair that comes down a little bit at the front and it almost looks like it's sort of glued together. I get it a bit with this one. It's kind of like a classic symptom, classic indicator of a poly hair system. I think it looks pretty good on him. It certainly looks better than him when he was bald. But believe it or not, now he's not an actor anymore. He hasn't been an actor for almost 20 years. He's actually a NASCAR driver, which I really rate. I think NASCAR's proper cool, albeit kind of dangerous. But I also rate him for wearing a hair system whilst wearing a helmet for most of the time, which is why he might wear a poly. They are less itchy than a lace, for instance, which probably explains it. But yeah, he basically spends his life now just, you know, driving in NASCAR, which is awesome. I think he had quite a nasty crash as well a couple of years ago. So yeah, kudos for him for risking his life for doing something he really loves. I'm going to show you a video now as well of him actually talking to an interviewer so we can actually look in detail at the hair system and sort of critique it and I'm certainly going to give my thoughts. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Now, I've got no volume on this because I don't want to get punished by YouTube for copyright stuff. So no volume, just me talking, unfortunately for you. <laughs> now, I've got to say the color is pretty spot on. It's pretty spot on. I'd say initially, maybe it's a little bit thick at the front. As you can see with Frankie, like myself, he has very thin sides, very, very thin sides. So maybe he'd benefit a bit more from a slightly lighter density. I'm ultra critiquing this, guys. Like, it still looks fine. It still looks like a good system. You can also see at the front, there's a little sort of... Sometimes you get that with polys. It can go a little bit curly around the edges. And it can kind of look, as I mentioned earlier, like it's sort of glued together a little bit. And I imagine he probably uses glue rather than tape. Just, just a hunch. But, but the quiff kind of works. I think as well, what I think is good... It's not a flat hairline. It's, it's actually sort of almost like a U-shape, which makes it look a lot more natural and it helps blend with his sort of rec recession on the sides of the head. I think it actually looks really good. I also think he looks better with hair than without hair. I don't know. It might be because his ears are quite low. Um, it might just look better because he's got facial hair as well. And the great thing is he still looks like Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle, but like a 20 years older version. Overall, though, I'd, I'd probably give that like a solid, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10. Um, I think it works with the recession quite well, so it's not a flat hairline, so it doesn't look fake in that respect. I think it's a little bit thick on top. We could probably go a little bit thinner, but the color blend is really good. The style of the hair matches his side hair pretty well. You know, if I wasn't a hair system wearer, in fact, if I didn't know he had a hair system and I was just like watching this, I'd just be like, yeah, cool. Um, if you do compare it against 
the image which I put up earlier, I'll put it up again, of him when he was in Malcolm in the Middle, you can see that the hairline is very different. However, that is believable because as you get older, naturally your hairline does recede to an extent. So it's pretty believable. If you'd have shown me a picture of him then and shown him a picture of me and shown me a picture of him now, I wouldn't think he was wearing a hair system. I would have assumed that he just kept his hair. I wouldn't have known that he'd gone bald or anything. Knowing that he has a hair system, obviously you sort of ultra critique it a lot more. Which is what I've been doing, but you know, it looks pretty good. You can get this quality of system anywhere, by the way. It does not need to be hair club, please. I can only offer my opinion on this, but if you've got loads of money that you can throw away, it's up to you, go for it. But if you value your money and you want to get exactly the same kind of hair system, but much, much cheaper, Le Vivid Hair, amongst many, many others in the industry, you can get these exact hair systems which look exactly like this if not better so what do you think guys what do you think of frankie muniz's hair system i think it looks pretty cool i think he's made the right call on it yes he could have shaved it as well it probably would have looked fine but it's clearly massively helped his confidence and you can really see that in his body language what i quite like as well is his wife actually said to him when he was you know losing his hair is like i'm gonna book you in to see this guy because i can see that it's having a detrimental impact upon your confidence, upon your self-esteem and that kind of thing. Now, if you're interested in learning about other celebrities who wear hair systems or have lost their hair, check out this video popping up right now. It's a really interesting video which goes into a couple of different big, big celebrities and explaining their hair loss and hair system journey. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now. Uh...